The fog that blanketed 221B Baker Street seemed almost tangible, seeping through the windows and clinging to every surface. Inside, Sherlock Holmes sat by the fireplace, his piercing gaze fixed on the dancing flames. The clock struck midnight, and just as the chime echoed through the silent room, a sharp knock reverberated on the door. Without a word, Holmes rose from his armchair, his long coat billowing behind him as he strode towards the door. Opening it, he was greeted by the haggard figure of Inspector Lestrade, raindrops dripping from his hat and coat. Lost, Holmes, Lestrade muttered, his voice strained with concern. The damn lighthouse, vanished. Keeper too. Holmes raised an eyebrow, a spark of curiosity lighting up his eyes. Pray, elucidate the details, Inspector. Lestrade stepped inside, shaking off the raindrops like a wet dog. He recounted the strange events unfolding on Foulweather Island, his words painting a picture of mystery and intrigue. Foulweather Island, Lestrade began, a forsaken place known for its treacherous waters and unpredictable storms. The keeper of the lighthouse, Alistair McTavish, a man of routine and discipline, hasn't sent his usual signal for a week. A rescue party was dispatched, only to find the lighthouse deserted, eerie silence pervading the air. Holmes listened intently, his mind already racing with possibilities. And what of McTavish? He inquired. Lestrade hesitated before continuing, his logbook, usually meticulous in detail, was filled with cryptic scrawlings. Mentions of strange lights in the fog, whispers carried by the wind, and shadows lurking in the darkness. It's as if the very island itself is haunted. Holmes's eyes gleamed with anticipation. A challenge indeed, he remarked, a hint of excitement in his voice. Prepare yourself, Watson, he called to his companion, who emerged from the shadows of the room. Dr. John Watson, ever the loyal friend and chronicler of Holmes's adventures, nodded solemnly. Where do we begin, Holmes? We begin, Holmes declared, by unraveling the mystery of Foulweather Island. Pack your essentials, Watson. We embark at dawn. And so, with the fog still thick outside, Holmes, Watson, and Inspector Lestrade set out on a journey that would lead them into the heart of darkness, where secrets whispered in the mist and danger lurked in every shadow. The game was afoot, and Sherlock Holmes was ready to confront whatever enigma awaited them on Foulweather Island. The morning sun struggled to penetrate the dense fog as Holmes, Watson, and Inspector Lestrade boarded a rugged vessel bound for Foulweather Island. The sea captain, a weather-beaten man with salt-streaked hair, eyed the trio warily as they embarked on the perilous journey. The waves tossed the small boat like a leaf in a storm, challenging even the seasoned sailors among them. As they approached the rocky silhouette of Foulweather Island, the atmosphere grew more oppressive, a palpable sense of foreboding hanging in the air. The lighthouse stood sentinel atop the rugged cliffs, its beacon eerily dimmed in the thick fog. The sea captain guided the boat to a makeshift dock, cautioning them about the treacherous currents that surrounded the island. Once ashore, Holmes wasted no time in investigating the abandoned lighthouse. Inside, the air was heavy with the scent of oil and decay. Every creak of the wooden floor seemed to echo with the ghosts of the past. McTavish's logbook lay open on the desk, its pages filled with ramblings that hinted at a descent into madness. Holmes meticulously studied each entry, his keen intellect piecing together the puzzle. Whispers of the deep, Holmes murmured, his eyes narrowing as he read aloud from the logbook. McTavish spoke of strange lights dancing in the fog, voices carried on the wind, and shadows flitting across the cliffs. Watson, ever the pragmatic foil to Holmes's deductive genius, surveyed the surroundings with a mix of curiosity and apprehension. Do you believe there's truth to these tales, Holmes? Holmes glanced at Watson, a faint smile playing at the corners of his lips. The truth, Watson, is often obscured by layers of deception. We must sift through the clues and uncover the reality beneath the facade. With that, Holmes delved deeper into the investigation, his keen eyes noting peculiarities in the lighthouse's structure, secret compartments hidden behind walls, a hidden passage leading downward into the depths of the rock. This way, Holmes announced, his voice tinged with excitement as he discovered the concealed entrance to a labyrinth and tunnel system beneath the lighthouse. The passage twisted and turned, a maze carved into the very heart of the island. Holmes led the way, his footsteps sure and purposeful. Watson followed closely, his lantern casting long shadows on the ancient walls. As they navigated the labyrinth, they stumbled upon forgotten chambers filled with dusty relics of a bygone era, old maritime instruments, tattered maps, and remnants of long-lost voyages. It's like unraveling a tangled web of secrets, Watson remarked, his voice echoing in the confined space. Holmes nodded, his mind racing with possibilities. Every clue leads us closer to the truth, Watson. We must press on. And so, 
With each step deeper into the labyrinth, Holmes and his companions inched closer to uncovering the mysteries hidden within Foulweather Island's dark heart. The whispers of the deep grew louder, urging them onward into the unknown. As Holmes, Watson, and Inspector Lestrade delved deeper into the labyrinth beneath the lighthouse on Foulweather Island, they encountered twists and turns that seemed designed to confound even the most experienced explorers. The walls of the tunnel were slick with moisture, and the air grew colder as they descended further into the earth. Holmes, undeterred by the oppressive atmosphere, maintained his focus, his sharp eyes scanning their surroundings for any clue that might unravel the mystery of the island. Watson, ever the steadfast companion, kept pace behind him, his lantern casting flickering shadows on the uneven walls. After what seemed like an eternity of navigating the labyrinth, Holmes halted abruptly, his hand outstretched to stop his companions. Look here, he exclaimed, pointing to a concealed lever set into the stone wall. With a deft movement, Holmes pulled the lever, and a hidden door creaked open, revealing a secret chamber bathed in dim light. The chamber was filled with ancient artifacts and curious contraptions, suggesting a purpose far beyond that of a simple lighthouse. Remarkable, Watson breathed, his eyes wide with wonder as he examined the strange devices scattered about the chamber. Holmes, however, remained focused on the task at hand. He carefully inspected each item, noting their peculiarities and hidden mechanisms. Among the artifacts, they found a dusty logbook, its pages filled with cryptic symbols and coded messages. This is no ordinary lighthouse, Holmes mused aloud, his mind racing with possibilities. It's a labyrinth of secrets, carefully concealed from prying eyes. As they continued to explore the chamber, they stumbled upon a map etched into the stone floor, its intricate markings indicating hidden passages and forgotten pathways crisscrossing beneath the island. Deciphering the labyrinth, Holmes declared, his voice tinged with excitement. That is our key to unraveling the truth behind Foulweather Island. With renewed determination, Holmes led the way, following the map's cryptic instructions through twisting corridors and dark tunnels. Each step brought them closer to the heart of the island's secrets, closer to the answers they sought. Finally, after what felt like an eternity of exploration, they emerged into a vast cavern hidden deep beneath the surface. The cavern was illuminated by flickering lanterns, casting an eerie glow on the rocky walls. In the center of the cavern, they found a figure huddled in the shadows, Alistair McTavish, the missing lighthouse keeper. He looked up with a mixture of relief and fear as Holmes and his companions approached. You're alive, Watson exclaimed, rushing to McTavish's side to offer assistance. McTavish nodded, his voice hoarse from days spent in captivity. They're real, he whispered, his eyes wide with terror. The society. They guard it with their lives. Holmes's keen intellect pieced together the puzzle. A secret society, guarding a hidden treasure, he surmised, his mind already racing to unravel the intricacies of the island's dark past. With McTavish's revelation about a secret society guarding a hidden treasure beneath Foulweather Island, Holmes's mind raced with possibilities. The pieces of the puzzle were beginning to fall into place, but there were still missing elements that needed to be uncovered. As they tended to McTavish and ensured his safety, Holmes instructed Watson and Lestrade to search the cavern for any clues that might shed light on the nefarious activities taking place beneath the island. Meanwhile, Holmes himself focused on extracting more information from McTavish, whose memories were clouded by fear and uncertainty. McTavish spoke in hushed tones, his eyes darting nervously around the cavern as if expecting the secret society to appear at any moment. He recounted how he had stumbled upon their activities while tending to the lighthouse, witnessing clandestine meetings and hearing whispers of untold riches hidden within the labyrinth and tunnels beneath the island. The leader, McTavish whispered, a man named Captain Silas. He's ruthless, cunning, and will stop at nothing to protect the society's secrets. Holmes absorbed every detail, his mind already formulating a plan to confront Captain Silas and unravel the mystery once and for all. Meanwhile, Watson and Lestrade discovered a cache of documents hidden in a concealed compartment within the cavern. The documents revealed the extent of Captain Silas's operations, smuggling, piracy, and the ruthless exploitation of shipwrecks along the treacherous coast. It's a deadly game they're playing, Lestrade remarked grimly as he scanned through the documents. Holmes joined them, his eyes gleaming with determination. Indeed, but the game is far from over. We must confront Captain Silas and put an end to his criminal enterprise. Their resolve strengthened, Holmes, Watson, Lestrade, and McTavish prepared for a deadly confrontation with Captain Silas and his secret society. Armed with knowledge and determination, they ventured deeper into the labyrinth, following McTavish's guidance to navigate the treacherous tunnels. As they approached the heart of the underground network, they heard voices echoing through the darkness. 
Silas's gruff voice carried a note of menace as he addressed his followers, outlining plans for their next illicit venture. We must proceed with caution, Holmes whispered to his companions. Silas is not to be underestimated. They crept closer, staying hidden in the shadows as they observed Silas and his cohorts discussing their nefarious schemes. It became clear that the society's activities extended far beyond mere treasure hunting, they were orchestrating disasters at sea to lure unsuspecting ships to their doom. A sudden noise betrayed their presence, and Silas's eyes narrowed as he spotted Holmes and the others. With a snarl, he ordered his men to attack, and a desperate struggle ensued in the cramped confines of the tunnel. Watson tended to a blow taken by Holmes, his medical skills coming to the forefront in the heat of battle. Meanwhile, Holmes, with surprising agility and cunning, disarmed Silas and turned the tide of the confrontation. But just as victory seemed within reach, a rumble shook the cavern, the tide was rising, flooding the tunnels and threatening to drown them all in its merciless embrace. As the tide surged, threatening to engulf the underground tunnels beneath Foulweather Island, Holmes quickly assessed the situation. Water cascaded into the cavern, filling the narrow passageways with alarming speed. With a decisive nod to his companions, Holmes sprang into action, leading them through a hidden escape route that McTavish had revealed earlier. The passage was narrow and winding, the sound of rushing water growing louder with each step. Holmes urged them onward, his keen mind calculating their path through the maze of tunnels as the water level continued to rise. We must reach the surface before it's too late, Holmes shouted over the roar of the water, his voice a beacon of determination in the darkness. Watson supported McTavish, whose strength had been drained by his ordeal, while Lestrade kept a watchful eye for any signs of pursuit from Captain Silas's men. The echoes of their footsteps mixed with the tumultuous rush of water, creating a symphony of urgency. Finally, after what felt like an eternity of desperate flight, they emerged into the cool night air, gasping for breath as they reached the safety of the lighthouse atop Foulweather Island. Behind them, the underground passages were swallowed by the rising tide, sealing off any pursuit from their adversaries. As they caught their breath and surveyed their surroundings, a sense of accomplishment washed over them. They had thwarted Captain Silas's plans, exposed the secret society's nefarious activities, and ensured that justice would be served. Back in Baker Street, under the gentle glow of the gaslight, Holmes recounted the harrowing tale to an eager audience. Lestrade listened intently, his admiration for Holmes's deductive prowess evident in his expression. Watson, ever the chronicler, meticulously recorded every detail, ensuring that the adventure would be immortalized in the annals of Holmes's legendary exploits. And so, the fog of Foulweather Island has lifted, revealing not a ghost story, but a cunning criminal operation, Holmes concluded, a note of satisfaction in his voice. Lestrade nodded in agreement. A remarkable feat, Holmes. You've once again proven yourself to be the world's greatest detective. Watson added with a smile, your brilliance knows no bounds, Holmes. It was an honor to be part of such an extraordinary adventure. Holmes, ever modest in his triumphs, acknowledged their praise with a nod. The credit belongs to teamwork and perseverance. Together, we unraveled the mysteries that shrouded Foulweather Island and brought justice to those who sought to exploit it. With the case closed and justice served, Holmes returned to his usual pursuits of solving the myriad mysteries that crossed his path. The fog of Foulweather Island may have lifted, but the legend of Sherlock Holmes, the master detective, would endure for generations to come.